This is Paul McKenna for PT Box and I'm here today down in uh, Hilton with me, Callum Smith. How are you, mate? All right? Stuff, uh, obviously, press comments out the way now. Weighing tomorrow and then Saturday night, uh, European title, final eliminated for the WBC and uh, your silver titles are still on the line as well. So, big fighter Dylan Mohammed, the tough kid, being in uh, 12 rounds with the Gale and uh, I believe him and him and McDonald have spoken about how, how, how tough a fighter is and uh, it, it is a tough fight, yeah, although people maybe might not have, have, have heard the name as yeah. much, but it's still, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, it's a tough game. it was game. announced, people laid it down under Holly's loss to the Gale, but you know, it was in 2012, and at the time he did the game a tough fight, even though it wasn't the best of the Gale, and he hasn't moved since, but so was he, he's a good fighter, he's on a good run of form, he yeah. knocked five out the last six out, and mm -hmm. his record suggests he's heavy handed, so he's going to be switched on, and he's shown he's got a good chill against the Gale, so I don't expect the 12 to foul, to know how good he's going to I'll prepare for the 12th. That's it. Obviously, uh, as you just mentioned, he, is, he, he does seem to be a bit heavy handed than uh, as yourself. So, you know, the, 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 the fight has the potential of not going the distance, really, doesn't it? Obviously, yeah. if it, well, if it know, does, it does. It does with super middles as well, you know, especially ones who are not expected to be big punches, but. No, you've seen a lot of times when you do go, go the distance quick from and you don't expect yeah. it to go to points. So, no, I think if it does, I'm expecting for 12 tough, tough rounds. I've played well for it, some things go very well to be honest with you. So, no, I'm ready, I'm in a good place and I'm ready to put on the show and I'll guarantee myself a shot at a world title. That's it. Um, obviously, a uh, headline and a bill again at the Echo Arena. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, it must be feel nice. Obviously, it's a big achievement to, to, to do it, and the atmosphere it's going to be electric. Obviously, yeah. starting with uh, Doran and Keela starting the sky, which is a, a decent little fight. And we've got Scotty here taking on Masha from Birkenhead, so all his, his boys are going to be there. And Four time about fight a good fight, to be honest with you, good you know, competitive ones, and yeah. you know, some people want to, you know, but you're going to come to a show, the same type of show you should be coming to, you know, mm. some of the fights are hard to pick a winner, you know, the four good title fights, so I think, you know, credit to Eddie's put on a good show, and, but most importantly, and, you know, for myself as a point of view, I've got to just make sure I get in and perform and deliver, and you know, hopefully I can come away with a good win. That's it, obviously, uh the European title hasn't been won by, by any of the Smiths, so it'd be nice to get your hands on that, obviously, and but you know, the, sort of the icing on the cake is the, is the final eliminator, isn't it? And that's obviously what you want next, the world title. Yeah, I said today, I'm probably the world champion. And, you know, in the weekend guarantees me you know, a shot at that. You know, yeah. the last day, but I said before, I don't have a lot to gain, but it's also a lot to lose. I don't want to be sitting about my next title fighting, not the deal with position. You know, I'll come back and make a big fight. I want to be sitting there, European champion, and go next in line for the world title. So. There's a lot to lose, but there's a lot to gain, and I'm fully confident there'll be no slip-ups. Yeah, I've seen a few headlines that uh, on Twitter the last week with like something to do with Sky and Groves. I think Sky put a headline on something about Groves wanting the, the, the fight again with yourself, and uh, but he weren't sort of happy with the headline. Yeah. I don't know what's what, but yeah, I think you'd have to put the same interview. I'm just changing the headline. So. Mm. Yeah. It's always going to be there that fight, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know, it's always going to be there. Same way, him and Gale's always going to be there. Mm. Of the domestic fight, the public call for them, you know, it's that much of a demand, then usually they do happen in given time. So, I'm not going to say when that fight out, do you think it will happen? As we're off the game to Gail, down the line, you know, yeah, I think he's the man to beat the division, so yeah. I'm just going to keep it and show the fight to him. That's it. What are you more nervous for, Saturday or Stephen <laughs> over there? Stephen's, I get more nervous for Stephen <laughs> anyway, to be honest. I'd be more nervous for Paul and the undercard than me, yeah. probably. It's just one of them things, it's hard to explain, but Stephen's got a tough fight, but. Training's gone well, and you know, the dude feel he's capable of winning. And, you know, he's definitely a world level fighter and good enough to become a world champion. So, you know, why not April 16th? That's it, mate, 100%. Well, uh, pleasure speaking to you as always, mate. And I know you've got to shoot off and get your hair cut, so I'll, I'll let you go. And uh, that's it, mate. Best of luck, Saturday, and we'll catch up with you soon. Nice one.